Hey guys, today in our series Unlocking the Secrets of Vaginal Health Products, we are looking at a very popular one that claims to treat the symptoms of bacterial vaginosis by restoring the pH balance. It's not an antibiotic, so is this true? If you have bacterial vaginosis, should you spend your hard-earned coins on this product or something else? Disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. We're simply reviewing this product using the information publicly available from the manufacturer and comparing it to independent information that we have about the treatment of this condition. So, <laughs> this product is called the Canis Balance Bacterial Vaginosis Vaginal Gel. On the box, it says it has a triple benefit. It is said to effect actively relieve unpleasant odor and abnormal vaginal discharge. It's supposed to restrict the growth of bad bacteria and it supports good bacteria to restore the natural environment in the vagina. So first of all, let's look at the problem that this product is trying to solve. And that's an infection known as bacterial vaginosis. Did you know that bacterial vaginosis is the most common cause of an abnormal vaginal discharge in women who can have children? Around the world, about 20 five of every 100 of these women get bacterial vaginosis at some point in their lifetime. Now you're more likely to get BV if you have a new partner, a new boyfriend or girlfriend, if you're not always using protection like a condom, and if you're doing things that can change the normal bacteria inside your vagina. For example, using special feminine washes or cleansers inside the vagina, that's called douching. So why are we so worried about this condition, BV? Well, if it's not treated, it could lead to serious health issues, for example, it could make it easier for you to pick up infections like HIV or other infections that are spread through sex. For pregnant women, it can also lead to problems like having the baby too early or the baby being born too small. If you have BV, you might have symptoms like a fishy vaginal odor, an abnormal vaginal discharge and feeling uncomfortable down below with, a, with an irritation around the vulva and vaginal area. You can learn much, much more about BV. Make sure you check out my videos here, right here on the channel where I share more about this subject. But let's take a good look at this product so it's a vaginal gel that comes in a box of seven hygienic single use internal applicators so your box comes with seven in them so this product needs to be applied right inside the vagina not on the surface of the vulva each applicator comes with a volume of five mils of the product with a long nozzle or neck which is what you insert into the vagina and then squeeze the base to get the product out okay so let's see what this looks like squirt okay so like a filmy clear liquid don't know if you guys can see that so like a filmy clear liquid clear gel a bit filmy yeah but um no smell and a bit sticky but no smell okay so it really needs to stay within the vagina so i'm just rubbing it on just to check the texture you would just squeeze it and leave it in place um clearly when it's being used um as it's intended to but i'm just trying to get a sense of how it feels so it really needs to stay within the vagina for an extended period of time so i think this feel of being a sort of sticky gel like fluid should help with that on the leaflet you're told just how to use it clean hands lie in a comfortable position they recommend using it just before bedtime so the very last thing before you go to bed so you're not getting up straight away and running the risk of it sort of leaking out of the vagina just after you've squirted it in some people might need to use a panty liner to prevent any tiny leaks so you're meant to apply one product each day for a week i'm not going to wipe it off straight away i'm going to leave this on and see what it looks like after a few minutes but let's look at exactly what is in this product so bv is a bacterial infection and we commonly treat it with antibiotics this product contains two active ingredients lactic acid and glycogen neither of them is an antibiotic Hmm. According to the World Health Organization, bacterial vaginosis is best treated with antibiotics like metronidazole and clindamycin are the most common ones that we um, use currently. So why will this product claim to be clinically proven to treat the symptoms of BV by restoring pH balance? Let us explore that. Let's talk about lactic acid. It's naturally produced all around the body. In the vagina, it's made by your good bacteria, the lactobacilli, and it keeps the vagina slightly acidic, so with a low pH, which stops bad or harmful bacteria from growing or multiplying and causing infection. So lactic acid keeps the vagina healthy. It operates like a natural cleaner that keeps things balanced and safe. 
that's what we want what about the second ingredient which is the glycogen in this product well glycogen is a complex carbohydrate and it serves as a nutrient source for the lactobacillus that's the good bacteria in the vagina which produces lactic acid naturally so let's remember what's happening when you have bacterial vaginosis the bad germ gardnerella vaginalis has overgrown so you have much much more of it than the good germ which is the lactobacillus so the value of this product is to boost the amount of lactic acid in the vagina artificially in the hopes that this will help to restore the natural acid balance which because you haven't got enough of the good bacteria the lactic acid balance is reduced at the same time it's also providing nutrition through the glycogen for any of the remaining good germs to be able to get nourished multiply and grow back so their normal levels return and they start producing more lactic acid and it's as it should be naturally so let's go back to that bad germ that causes bacterial vaginosis can this product kill it well no it can't it's not an antibiotic the manufacturers may suggest that it works by increasing the natural acid balance to make the environment less friendly for bad germs and of course that will make them less likely to grow but it's not going to directly kill them off now some very clever people have looked at just this question in a 2021 study on lactic acid containing product for bv and how they affect the germs in the vagina they studied nearly 2000 other studies with a focus on seven different types of products which contain lactic acid however there wasn't a solid consensus i know right there was some weakness with some of the studies that they looked at so they were not very reliable and so we need to think of their conclusions as a general guide we need more studies actually to help us but they found that in one study using lactic acid was thought to provide the same results as the antibiotic metronidazole however in many more studies the lactic acid effect was weaker than the antibiotic and at sometimes it was pretty much the same as if you didn't have any treatment so on average these researchers thought that the lactic acid products didn't affect the balance of germs in the vagina in any significant way in, in other words they thought that the effectiveness of these lactic acid products for treating bacterial vaginosis is still questionable so should you use it will you come to any harm from using this product i'd say the best thing is to exercise caution especially if you're pregnant or have any allergy or sensitivity to any of the ingredients listed within the products using antibiotics is the first line recommendation for treating bacterial vaginosis for some people who may not want to take antibiotics especially if they think they have a very mild case of bv they may try this product and see if it helps improve their symptoms within the recommended period of use which is one week however given that poorly treated bv can cause serious problems especially in pregnancy i would recommend the first option is antibiotics okay we've been talking for a few minutes and it's still as a sticky residue on the skin even though most of it has absorbed uh, which is what you want you want this to sort of remain within the vaginal canal to do what it's supposed to do boost the natural ph balance so definitely a good idea to keep this for use at night time if you're going to try this product so what are your thoughts have you used this product and what was your experience please share with me in the comment section and if you haven't but knowing this analysis would you consider using this thank you so much for watching please let me know any other vaginal health products whose secrets you want unlocking and i will see you again in the next one Bye bye